Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. If you're new, hello, my name is Emily. I was born with a bilateral, moderate to severe sensory neural congenital, which means genetic hearing loss. So that means I wear hearing aids in both of my ears and I am so happy I can hear. I focus my channel on increasing awareness for hearing issues and specifically the deaf and the hard of hearing. I am so glad you're on my channel today. If you haven't already, please take a moment to become a part of the definite hearing community and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, at the end of this video, I want you to take a moment to like this video. And if you haven't by the end of this video, please remember to subscribe. I am so glad you're here today. And today we are going to talk about how experts have stated that treating hearing loss may prevent dementia. This is absolutely important because our brains are our brains. You get one and you've got to take care of it. So let's talk about how treating hearing loss can prevent dementia. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I'm going to share a few tools that you can use to keep your brain sharp in addition to treating your hearing loss. First, I want to clarify what is dementia. So there is a difference between dementia and Alzheimer's. Dementia is a syndrome, Alzheimer's is a disease, and both of them are the deterioration of the brain. Diagnosis for each of these is definitely specific to the specific symptoms that a patient is experiencing, but overall researchers have found that treating hearing loss may prevent dementia. The specific study I want to talk about was conducted at the UK's Newcastle University. Researchers specifically came out and said that treating hearing loss may prevent dementia. The reasoning for this is because sound-starved auditory processing parts of the brain are shown or have been hypothesized to shrink if they are not used. It goes in line with the quote that if you don't use it, you lose it. It's like muscle mass. If you go to the gym 10 days in a row and you build that mass, if you don't go for the next 10 days, you lose what you gain. Dementia is the breaking down of the brain cells as we've reviewed, but treating hearing loss such as adding hearing aids or cochlear implants based on a patient's loss, it stimulates the temporal lobe, which creates neural connections that enable the body to function in terms of short-term, long-term memory and communication. These are main targets of dementia. Patients with dementia have trouble remembering things. They have trouble remembering who they talk to, what people's names are, where they left things. And I want to point out, dementia is not specific to people of age. People of age are more susceptible to dementia because of the cell replication process, but dementia can target young and old patients. So it is really important to address your hearing loss because people can be exposed to excessive noise at any point in their life and be susceptible to dementia. So all in all, with all these factors, the study boiled it down to if dementia is caused in the cerebrum and hearing loss can decrease brain deterioration in the temporal lobe through hearing assistance of devices or through treating hearing loss, then that can ward off the dementia in the brain in those areas. It is important to keep these areas of the brain up and running through introducing sound into the brain. So for me personally, because I have an issue with my sensory neural connection, my sound needs to be adjusted in certain areas. So I put on my hearing aid, it adjusts the sound accordingly, talks to my brain, and my brain is able to interpret the sound correctly. Without my hearing aids, my brain cannot do that. And those areas of my brain that need those certain pitches that I am deficient in, my hearing aid compensates for that. So my brain is able to develop in those areas that my natural, normal ear and brain is deficient. So I'm really grateful for my hearing aids because it helps develop my brain in those areas that my body would naturally not be able to nourish. So the study noticed that dementia can lead to brain shrinkage, so does hearing loss. In addition to that, hearing loss is an issue because other parts of the brain have to compensate to hear and therefore don't function as they were initially designed to function. So hearing loss, if not treated, it speeds up the process of dementia because not only can you not hear and those areas of your brain are starved, but in addition to that, other areas of your brain are having to compensate for that lack of hearing. So it's like a double whammy. So if you have hearing loss, you definitely want to get it evaluated and checked and address it. Now, caveat here. Classically, we're wondering, okay, what about those people that just can't hear at all. So this is for the capital D deaf community. There was a study done on this by Atkinson et al, which means Atkinson and his researcher friends, in the Detecting Cognitive Impairment in Dementia in Deaf People. It was a British Sign Language Cognitive Screening Test. 
So this study found that though the deaf community does not have similar access to sound as a hearing person, they make up for it in their social activities. I thought this was so interesting because it is true. The deaf community is extremely tight knit, very wonderful and vivacious. This warning is especially important. Hearing loss may contribute to dementia for those that have had hearing and are losing it. So if you are in that category where you have had hearing and you're losing it, this is especially important for you and you need to take care of your brain because you have something and you're losing it. So if you think you're experiencing hearing loss, please, please, please go get it checked out. So if you address your hearing loss and you are social, that can be extremely helpful to your brain. To stay social in today's day and age, don't hesitate to pick up the phone. Don't hesitate to FaceTime someone. Don't hesitate to make new friends, but stay social. Make sure that you do so safely. Okay, let's take a moment. I want you guys to take a guess. In the comments down below, I want you to guess what percentage of dementia cases are due to midlife hearing loss. Are you ready for the answer? Take a pause if you need time. Okay, the answer is 9%. 9% of dementia cases. That's a very large percentage that can be tracked back to a specific cause. And that cause, like I said, is midlife hearing loss. So some tips, if you experience any of these things, you should go get your hearing checked. And please, please, please put the pride down. Go get your hearing checked. You'll be grateful you did. One, if you notice that people tell you that the TV or the sound you listen to is too loud, or they may say, hey, can we turn the TV down? That's an indicator. That's an indirect message saying that this is louder than my normal ears can handle. If people mention that we just said that when you want to contribute to a conversation, this is probably the hardest one. People may confront you and say, hey, I don't know how to tell you this and I care about you, but you should go get your hearing checked. That is the most blatant sign that, yeah, it is time to get your hearing checked. And another sign is if you find yourself isolating yourself because you don't want to be around big groups of people or that you find it difficult to understand what people are saying. And last but not least, if you are in denial that you need a hearing test, you definitely need to go get one. I know that it's really hard because sometimes people feel like getting hearing aids can make them feel old and they just want to take pride in their normal working bodies. Like, I get it. But we live in a day and age where if you had hearing, you have the opportunity to get it back and take that time. Like you don't know what you're missing out on until you get your hearing checked and addressed. So if you have any of those symptoms, please go get your hearing checked by a licensed audiologist. Also, if you are experiencing any kind of memory loss or you feel you should talk to your doctor about your memory loss, please do that. Dementia is diagnosed based on a variety of symptoms and a doctor will be qualified to ask you the proper question to diagnose anything that needs to be taken care of. Remember that whether it's a hearing loss or dementia or any other health concern, the earlier it is diagnosed, the better. Talking to your doctor is not defined as weak. It is strength because you are taking care of yourself. And if you don't do it, who's going to do it? And if you don't do it now, when are you going to do it? So I say, if you have any of these issues or you're thinking throughout this video that yeah, Emily's right, I should go get my hearing check, please, please, please do. I want to hear in the comments below if you recently got your hearing check or if you plan to because of this video. As I promised at the beginning of the video, here are four tools to keep a brain sharp. One, crossword puzzles. Two, Sudoku or other number games. Three, Scrabble or Boggle. Those games keep your mind active and running. Now you have to remember you have to do these consistently. My grandma does a crossword puzzle a day. Wow, she is definitely sharp and on top of her game. And I would say that those crossword puzzles help. Number four, you can download brain strengthening apps. There are a lot out there. Go ahead and do your research and find the best for you. If you like this video, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up down below and please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to sharing more hearing loss related content and I want to help all of you. And let's hope we all keep our brains sharp. Also, one last thing, I'm going to put the links of my sources down below. I hope you all have a great day and I'll be in touch with another video soon. Bye.